You would need to eat eight oranges today to get the same amount of vitamin A that your grandparents obtained from eating just one. This is because our agricultural practices focus on improving size, yield, and pest resistance rather than nutritional content. This 49-year study found declines in protein, calcium, phosphorus, iron, and vitamin C across 43 fruits and vegetables. And from 1975 to 1997, 12 other vegetables experienced a 27% decline in calcium, 37% in iron, 21% in vitamin A, and 30% in vitamin C. Another 50-year study with 20 different vegetables had similar findings. Ultimately, our food is less nutrient-rich than ever before. Now, just because fruits and vegetables aren't as healthy as they used to be, it doesn't necessarily mean that we should avoid them. Carnivores, I'm talking to you. Fruits and vegetables offer a wider variety of phytochemicals and antioxidants, making them our best sources for these essential compounds that help prevent disease. This is why it's so vital today that we focus on regenerative agriculture. Regenerative practices focus on restoring soil health, increasing biodiversity, and eliminating the use of chemical inputs. Healthy living soil produces more nutrient-dense crops, reduces environmental damage, and even sequesters carbon, which helps combat climate change. By choosing food organically grown from regenerative farms, you're not only supporting practices that rebuild the nutrient cycle, but you're also ensuring better food for you and for future generations. Every bite you take is a vote for our food system. The more often we can do this, the sooner our food will be what it once was, rich in nutrients, free of chemicals, and full of vitality.